Overseas now into a highly classified video of a controversial U.S. helicopter attack in Iraq, which the Pentagon has persistently refused to release. Now it's been leaked and posted on the Internet. The 2007 footage shows the killing of unarmed civilians and journalists and records the crew celebrating. July the 12th, 2007. Two U.S. Apache helicopters patrol the skies over Baghdad. In the streets below are two journalists working for the Reuters news agency, photographer Namir Nur al-Din and his assistant, Saeed Kumar. Both are carrying cameras, but the helicopter crew mistake them for guns. That's a weapon. They request and are granted permission to fire. On the ground, one of the journalists is still alive. I gotta do is pick up a weapon. A van arrives to help the injured man. Although there's no suggestion anyone presents an immediate threat, the crew requests permission to fire again. One eight, clear. Come on. Clear. Clear. The footage later shows two injured children being taken from the van. They were the only survivors. It's thought 12 people were killed. U.S. authorities repeatedly refused to release this footage and insisted rules of engagement were followed. It has become public after being leaked to a whistleblower website. I believe that if those killings were lawful under the rules of engagement, then the rules of engagement are wrong. Deeply wrong. Hotel 26, crazy horse, 1 8. Oh, yeah, look at those dead bastards. Nice. The US military has insisted the deaths took place during a firefight with militants. There's no evidence on the video of a single shot being fired at the helicopters. Keith Green, World News Australia. And in breaking news tonight, a series of five explosions have rocked central Baghdad, killing five people and wounding 25 others. At least one of the blasts was a suicide attack. Most of the bombs targeted Shiite neighbourhoods.